All right, this one's going to be on NCPA Mixer. It is a in-curse interface to PAVU control for Pulse Audio. So this thing's actually pretty awesome. Um, it looks exactly like the GUI program if you ever used it. Um, let me show you. Let's play a song here. So we're playing a song, and you can see that um, the streams here. You see two streams, right? Uh, Was that the LAD stream and the SEMA stream, the player that we just started? And at the bottom here, these are like different tabs. So right now at the bottom here, we're in the playback, but there's a recording, there's a output device, input device, and configuration. And the way that you will navigate between them is just um, capital H or L. So capital L is to go to the next one. Capital H is go to the previous one. And that's how you will cycle between um, the different tabs that they have. As far as going to different streams, so let's say for example, we have uh, like four streams here you can go J to go down or K to go up or you can use your arrow keys to navigate between them right um, if you want to change streams let's say for example uh, I mean change it to a different uh, output location or whatever so let's say for example the CMOS here right I can hit C and I can see all my choices uh, I can send it to so I can send it to my TV over HDMI here for the output cell Right, I can do that. I hit C, select another one like my wireless uh, headset, and I can send it to you know whatever is playing in CMOS to that uh, uh, headset that I'm using or whatever. And if I want to bring it back to my um, you know uh, speakers, uh, I can do that. Or you can hit Tab on this. You don't have to hit C and do all this thing if you don't want to. You can just hit Tab to tab between you know the different choices that you have, right? Um, what else is there? Oh, if you want to lower the sound, so let's say for example, I want to lower the sound, it's just uh, lowercase h, right? Or lowercase l. If you ever use Vim, you know what I'm talking about, and that's how you would um, do that. I think you can use arrow keys too, right? Yeah, you can use uh, what is that, left and right arrow, same thing, right? Anything else in here? If I want to mute uh, the sound, I can hit M. And it's muted, and M again is unmuted. So there you go. Uh, pretty much it for the program. It's really not that difficult. You know, this one's just uh, to enable streams, uh, mute sounds, uh, change, reroute the streams of you know where you want it to output to. So that's why I like this one. And if you don't want to use the GUI no more, or you want a GUI replacement, this will be it. It looks like, you know, it's almost the same thing as the other one. And the good thing about this is that you can actually do, um, you know, if you're a command line user, you can actually change your hotkeys. You can actually do different themes and stuff like that. So let's bust this out here. Where was that? So you can see they have uh, different themes if you want to match with your themes. Um, you know, if you're a writer, you can do that. What else is there they have in here? So these are the key bindings. Uh, right now it favors like, uh, you know, Vim users, but maybe you can do it for Emacs if you're into that. Um, anything else? Pretty much it for the program. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, equivalent of also Mixer, but this one's for, uh, what was that, uh, Pulse Audio, right? Anyways, um, go check it out if you're interested in it. That'll be it for this one.